in my religion, it's wrong to be gay. What's wrong with being gay? So you believe that Jesus is God or he was sent by God? I believe that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one entity. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, is that mentioned in the Bible? Did you know that the word Bible is not in the Bible? I am aware of that. So what is the name of your book? I'm not sure. Would God be a man or a woman? I don't know. Street, street hour. The game's not over. They're moving on to the fifth question. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to make this happen, okay? First question coming your way. What are the three questions that the angels ask you in your grave? Fast, fast. They get it. Two seconds. What is your religion? No, no, that's the dean. What is, who is your God? Who is your Lord? Well, what's your religion? That is the correct answer. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are you afraid of dying? No. Tell me why. Because I believe that my death could bring someone else life. I signed on to protect the people of America. I signed on to give people a life where they don't need to be afraid. You're a veteran? No. Are you, are you currently reserved? I'm currently enlisted. You're currently enlisted? Yeah. Okay, wow. Do you believe that we still treat people with equality? No. No, I don't. Okay, so why aren't we following the Constitution? It's society. Mm -hmm. Different belief systems. A big one is religion against the LGBT community. And I'm not going to say that my religion isn't a part of that hate form. Mm -hmm. In my religion, it's wrong to be gay. It's What's wrong with being gay? Because that's not how God intended us to be. Yes, he gave us free will, but in my interpretation of it, which might not be right, I acknowledge that. We were created in God's image. That's why God put man and woman on this earth. So do you believe God is a man? I believe God is an omnipotent being that takes whatever form he needs to appear. So God could be a man? God could be a man, God could be a woman. But would God be a man or a woman? I don't know. Mm. I can't answer that till I get to heaven. Mm. So by God's image, what we understand that to be is that God has certain qualities. And by the way, uh, the word that a lot of people believe God is a man-made concept, right? You hear that with people. You yeah. know, I speak to people all day like this is what we do, right? And some people don't believe in a creator. Some people don't have any thoughts like that. They believe that God is a man-made construct. And from the perspective that they have is kind of right because God is a man-made word. You understand? Yes. You see, even the Bible is a man-made word. It is. Did you know that? Yes, I did. Did you know that the word Bible is not in the Bible? I am aware of that. So what is the name of your book? Okay, pause this video right now. The Muslims in Norway need our help. Alhamdulillah, Islam is spreading at a fast pace here in the West. And with Norway's growing Muslim population, they need a masjid. But this isn't just going to be any type of masjid. This is going to be a state-of-the-art, one-of-its-kind, historic dawah center and masjid in the whole country of Norway. So join me and Islamnet as we make history doing the unthinkable, the unimaginable and building this Dawa Center and Masjid together. So what are you waiting for? Click the link below and donate whatever you can to share in this beautiful cause and earn your Sadaqah Jadia. So click the link and donate right now. We call it the Bible because that's what they came up with. What did God want it to be called? I'm not sure. There we go. I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Because I'm not God. Yes. And if there is a creator, because we both believe that, by the way, I'm just yeah. playing around a little, playing devil's advocate here and there. Right? Oh, yeah, no. But I believe there's a creator, yeah. right? I, I believe yeah. there's a creator, right? And from, from that perspective, my friend, the book should have a name. It should. And the one to name it should be God. Yes. You agree? I agree with that. Not King James. No. Right? Not a king who believes that because they're the king, they have the right to name the book. Yes. Make sense? Yeah. So what's the name of your book? We call it the Bible because historically that's what it's been called. Okay. But you don't know what it is. I know that it is as close as we can get to the true word of God. Mm. Do you believe that the Bible is the word of God? I believe it is man's interpretation of the word of God. Wow. Okay. What, do you believe that God would reveal a book? I believe that he reveals to us what we need to know to serve him. Okay. Shouldn't the book have certain qualities? Like the book shouldn't be altered or changed. I believe it should not be changed. I agree, right? And the book should be preserved in the original language. Yes. Right? And the book should have been compiled in the life of Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him. Yes and no. Tell me more. So part of the Bible follows Jesus' life. Part of it follows the apostles and the Christian religion after Jesus is passing. If it's after Jesus, is that revelation? Define revelation. Revelation is the divine speech of God, meaning the way it was interpreted, it is said and it is written down. Yes. Not a word has changed. 
I believe it should be that way. It should be that way, right? But at the same time, Jesus lived a perfect life. He died on the cross for our sins, and then he okay. rose from the grave. Okay. And the way I see it, him rising from the grave, rising from the ashes, put the sin out of sight, out of mind of God. So let me ask you this, my friend. You acknowledged a little earlier that you believe the Bible could be an interpretation of certain things. You know that the hand has been mixed where things have been added and things have been pulled out. Yes. Then how are you to say that the book that says that he died on the cross for your sins is telling the truth that that's what he did? If it's mixed, how do we know what is mixed or what's not mixed? Because the part about him dying on the cross was during his life. It was at the end. Okay. So I believe that it would have been described that way. That's how it would have been scribed? Yeah. Okay. So you believe that Jesus is God or he was sent by God? I believe that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one entity with three different forms. So what is that called? It's called the Trinity. Yes, the right. Holy Trinity. So let me ask you this, my friend. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, is that mentioned in the Bible? It's been a minute since I've read the Bible. Let me just give you the cliff notes on it, my friend. It's not. All right. It's not. And now, please don't take my word for it. Dig deep into it. I'm going to dig. Please. I'm right? going to dig. Now, if we've already made clear that even the name Bible is not there, they haven't ascribed. The name of the book is ascribed by someone that's not God. Yeah. Now, with that in mind, how do we know what is and what isn't? You, 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 you get what have I'm saying? to take a leap of faith. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, going back to what makes something revelation, right? We said that for something to be revelation, which is what we would like, let's suppose our perfect wish list, our checklist, right? Yeah. So one thing that would make it certain, right? Let me give you the I ideal, the ideal utopia of what revelation should be, right? That whatever, when Jesus' peace and blessings be upon him was given revelation through the angel Gabriel, right? Through yeah. revelation angel, right? Every time he spoke, which was revelation, it was written down by people. I believe that's the way it should have been. It should have been, right? I so let's talk about how it should be, right? Word. Exactly. So let's talk about exactly that. We believe it should be word for word. Yes. Right? When revelation was given, it should be written down immediately. Yes. Right? Now it should be compiled to the liking of how Jesus said it has to be compiled. Yes. Right? It should be preserved in the original language it was revealed in. Yes. And now it should also be preserved through the end of time, meaning even yes. now it should be the same. Yes. You understand? Nothing should be changed. I agree. If a word gets changed, it's no longer revelation. Exactly. You understand? It should stand the test of time. Yes. Right? Hell, how about this? Let me give you an, uh, let me give you even a further stretch, right? But couldn't the same be said about any religion's holy book? Yes, this is what my point is, right? So let's go to this. In our perfect checklist of what the Bible should be, right? Let's push it further. How about this? What if this book is memorized by millions of people? So that if some corrupt person came to try to change it, people would be like, uh-uh, that's not what it says. We've all memorized it. I believe that's how it should be. That's how it should be, right? We know, unfortunately, the Bible is not that way, correct? It is not. Do you know what book is? No, I do not. I'm guessing it's the Quran. My friend, this is something that you need to do more research on, my friend. The Holy Quran. Everything that you said needs to be checked is, is checked in this. The original language is... I'm going to check revealed. between the two of them. Please, I'm gonna do so. Yeah. Please do so with a sincere heart. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm not biased. No, please. I Thank accept you. any religion. That's beautiful. Just because it's the one I follow doesn't mean yours is wrong. Absolutely, my friend. And this is the point, right? You said there were certain things that need to be ticked on that box. Yes. Right? This takes all of those things, right? It's preserved in the original language. It's been memorized. I gave you a the bonus. One. Language. Arabic. Yeah. It's I not even dead. That. No. <laughs> this one's in English. This is an English translation of it. Yeah. You understand? All right. But the original Arabic is on our phones. We can have it. If you go to any country in the world, my friend, you pull up anyone's Quran on their phone, go to anyone, it is one version. Yeah. No multiple, only one. And you would like your book to be the same. I would, yeah. Yes. That There's is the Quran. Many versions. There we go. There should only be one. They made a version that is catering towards the likes of the LGBT community. Sure. Which kind of pisses me off because they're changing my religion's book to suit an yeah, agenda. Yeah, to suit so, that. Absolutely. They're changing it to suit their personal agenda. Now, you see, my friend, when it came back to the LGBT thing, what we were talking about, about gay and all that sort of stuff, right? In Islam, what we understand is that some people, perhaps, right, let's, for argument's sake, say that, you know what, they feel that way, that they are attracted to a specific gender. That's what fine. We, what we believe is incorrect is the act of it, not the feeling of it. If you feel that, if you are inclined towards that, that is between you yeah. and your creator. Yeah. But it is the act that yeah. makes it wrongful. It is the act, okay? It is, not, it is not the person, it is the act that they have. Going back to our point, everything that we said 
is ticked in this, my friend. Everything that we said, everything that you wanted your book to be is this book right here. And including, by the way, Jesus is in the Quran. Did you know about it? No. Did you know that Muslims I believe? Read in the Jesus? Quran. Do you know that Muslims believe in Jesus? I knew they had some sort of prophet or messiah. No. We believe even, this is how much we believe in Jesus. Ready? We even believe in a second coming. I do too. Right? You clearly have an enormous love of Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him. And I do as well too. Right? We spoke about authenticity and how a book should be preserved. Yeah. Why not with a sincere heart look through this book and what we say about Jesus? Because what we say about Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. By the way, Jesus' name in Islam is not mentioned without mentioning peace and blessings be upon him. We do not even believe his name should be mentioned without sending blessings upon him because we believe he was a blessed messenger of God. We believe in the virgin birth of Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. We believe that he was sent to the people to show them the correct way, how the creator wants to be worshiped, not how you want to worship him, yeah. but how, exactly. This is what we believe, right, as Muslims. So it seems yeah. like a lot of our teachings are aligned, but there's some things that you might not have known that you have alignment with the Muslims, right? It's some things you're yeah. learning today, right? Honestly, yes. if you don't learn something new every day, whether it be religion, science, sure. A language, yes. you're not doing your job as a human. So, my friend, with that spirit, would you mind this gift of the Quran so you can look through it? Sure. Yeah. Let me give you a challenge, right? My challenge is this before you read this book or your book, doesn't matter. Make a sincere intention with the Creator and ask the Creator to guide me to the straight path, whatever that path is. Forget, I don't care guide you to the straight path, right? And read this and your book with pure sincerity, which I believe you are. I'm not gonna even tell you start from here, start from there. Start from the first chapter, my friend, and continue on. And just see how it makes your heart feel. And see how much alignment it has to what you already believe. Because you're not gonna learn anything new. What you're gonna learn are things that affirm what you already know and believe. So join me and Islam that as we make history, doing the unthinkable, the unimaginable, and building this Dawah Center and Masjid together. So click the link and donate right now. Right. How does that sound? I'm up for the challenge. I appreciate you spending time and waiting around for us, my friend. This was a great conversation. Thank you for pushing my thoughts and my cha challenging me as well. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate right? the opportunity. No, no problem, my friend. Take care. Definitely an interesting opportunity. First time in New York in this. Street Dawah, you already know what it is. My friend, thank you so much. My guy. Love. I love. Okay?